Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to create nail polish stickers. I don't know if that's the official term, but that's what I'm calling them for now. Um, it is nail polish that is combined and swirled on a piece of plastic or saran wrap. They're easy to make because you can use a variety of nail polishes and different finishes. And they also last a long time in, on your nails. And they are nowhere near as hard to make as water marbling. So if you'd like to learn how to do it, keep on watching. So I use this kind of hard plastic sheet, but you should use saran wrap instead because the nail polish comes off so much easier. I've also used a technique where you put the saran wrap on top of a Kleenex box and just attach it with tape, and then it is a way easier surface to peel them off with. So throughout the tutorial, I'm going to be using a dotting tool. So this is just me showing you from a far away angle what I'm actually doing in the close-ups. So I'm dotting on nail polish, as you can see, a couple colors here and there, and more nail polish the better works because then it spreads around a lot faster and easier and d whoops and yeah now I'm just swirling it around moving my stationary thing around so the nail polish can get swirled and then you can make it bigger or smaller or maybe not smaller but you can make it however big you want it the sticker to be depending on your nail size See, so yeah, I'm just swirling it around, creating a design, and then that's pretty much it. So for this first design, I'm going to be using China Glaze DJ Blue Eye Mind, Liquid Leather, and also Violet Vibes. The two colors, the blue and the purple, they actually glow in the dark or like glow under a black light, so that's pretty cool. So I'm just dotting some nail polish on my sheet there, maybe adding a little bit of black. And this is just in real time, just show you how I actually do it. So now I'm just going to turn my thing around in different directions just to make it spread around and create a cool design. So you want to use a fair bit of polish because if you don't use enough, it won't spread, obviously. So yeah, I just used a dotting tool there so then the nail polish can spread to different places. Because it seems like, if you ever notice like with water or whatever, if you don't put it in a certain place, it won't go there because like it's not, it hasn't been there before. I don't know, there's some science behind it. So now I'm just dragging my dotting tool in there just to create some handmade designs. Because I didn't totally love the design of this one, like how it came out. So I'm just adding some type of swirls or something in there. Yeah, I just got a big tidal wave. So for this design, I am using China Glaze Orange Knockout, Pool Party, Celtic Sun, and Finger Paints Paper Mache. And these are all extremely bright neons, but they're not showing up on camera as they do in person. So I'm just adding the orange, a little bit of white, a little bit of that chartreuse color, a little bit more white, some of the extremely bright hot pink kind of fluorescent shade. So these won't tilt or whatever because they're really drying. They dry really fast. So I'm just using a dotted tool and I over swirled here so I can show you how to do to fix it. Add some more colors, maybe like a base white to change it up a bit. And then just start swirling again, but don't go too far. Just stop there, and it's perfect. Now I'm going to do another one. A base of white. Do lots of white. Some orange. A little bit more orange. And then some of that chartreuse kind of yellow, green color. Some really hot pink. And a little bit more white. I'm going to use that dotting tool again. And just do random swirls, and then you have a really unique nail polish design. The mural of the story, and also Sally Hansen Scarab. For this one, I am just showing you my end result, because I did so many of them, this video would be so long. So this is just how I got this one. I started out with those colors, and I ended up with this design. 
So this is Nina Ultra Pro Cherry Berry and also Finger Paints Paper Mache. So I did these two designs earlier and now I'm going to do another one. This is like for Canada Day. So I'm putting a big blob of red, a white strip in the middle, and then another bit of red, and a little bit more white. So I tilted it around, but now I'm going to go in with my dotting tool. So now I'm adding two dots of white, and I'm just going to go with my dotting tool and create some hearts. So you just go through the dot and drag through. Essie Blossom Dandy, also Essie Garden Variety, and Color Club Harp on It hollow nail polish. Isn't it pretty? So I'm just gonna add the light blue green shade, add the kind of green teal shade, some hollow, and I'm gonna just move it around. This one came out really good because I used a lot more nail polish than some of the other ones, or just these formulas blended well together. And it's kind of had like that, that marbly kind of look right now, but I wanted a little bit of that teal shade. A little bit more than that. So I just added it in one spot and just moved my board around and got out of focus again. But it's kind of hard to do it when it's so close, but I wanted to show you guys how it looks. So then I'm just going to take my dotting tool and swirl the hollow around a little bit more and swirl it into there. And now I'm just swirling even more because I wasn't happy. But now I'm going to make another one. So I did like a triangle. I did for three dots, and then just a big dot of the blue in the center. You guys can tell, and then some on the side. Just make different designs. And then now I'm just going to swirl them all around, different directions. You guys get the idea, right? And so this one came out pretty cool, because I like how like the teal is blending in like that. And then you got that skinny strip of hollow. Doesn't that kind of look like marble? Like a crystal, you know, marble crystal or whatever. I think it turned out really cool. Now I'm just going to drag through that teal a little bit. See right there? That's awesome. Okay, these are Finger Paints Aloha Lay, Yellow Out Man, and also the white is Paper Mache. So I'm just going to take that yellow and swirl it all around. Add that orange with like sparkle glitters in it. A little bit of white. And now I'm just going to swirl it around, as you can see. And I'm showing you guys all this different stuff, so then you can get ideas like, Oh, I want that design, so I'm going to place my polish this way. You know, it's all tri trial and error also. So that's what I came out with. And now I'm just going to do another one right here. So that's what the finished product looks like, but I'm still swirling it around. And I added more white into that orange because it looked too blocky to me. So this is me just in real time showing you guys how I do it. This is with neon nail polishes. I'm doing that kind of same design again. See, they won't move around very much because for some reason the neon polishes, they dry down really fast. But they are moving a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of more of that pink because I wanted a little bit more. And I'm just trying to move it around again. A little bit of that orange type of color. And you can make them, the stickers, how big you want. But I tend to just do it a regular circle size. But I think it would take a lot of nail polish if you made it like a way wider and longer. So now I'm just using my dotting tool and just carefully dragging through there. I don't pick up my dotting tool when I go through the sticker, like in the nail polish. And then I just wipe my daughter off every so often so I don't keep dragging a whole bunch of polish through there. So now it's 12 to 24 hours later and I'm going to start peeling off my nail polish. So I'm going to use this like orange stick thing and I'm just going to go at one edge and start just working it under, getting all edges off carefully, not trying to break anything because these neon ones, they're a little bit stiffer because they are fast drying, I found out. So I'm just going to carefully go under there 
And if you were using like the Kleenex method, you could just peel off the whole um, saran wrap and just work it with your fingers if you don't have this type of tool. But it does help a lot because it has that flat edge. So I'm just getting under there and peeling them off. And now these ones are definitely more bendable because they're some type of cream that doesn't dry fast, I guess. I don't know, something with the neons. See, look how fast they just peel off. And these ones, zoom, zoom, zoom. And they're nice and soft. These ones I peeled off of the fingers because they just had a really good formula. And they were so nice and soft. And these ones had the jelly formula. And since they're bendy, they're a lot easier to put on your nails if your nails are more curved. So yeah, look at that. Look how bendy it is. So I'm going to be using these two nail polish stickers on my nails. So make sure your nails are clean and prepped and ready to go. So I'm measuring up to my fingernail just to see where exactly I want the swirl design to be or how I want them to fit, you know, etc. So now I'm using these like curved nail trimmers and I'm just going to cut the nail polish sticker to size, cut off the jagged edges and just check back to see if how good it fits on my nail. So you want to cut off as much as you can before you put it on your nail for good. Because otherwise it's a lot of nail polish to take off when it's stuck to your nail, you know what I mean? It's just easier to do it this way. So now I'm going to do my accent nail. So I'm just going to trim and measure and trim and measure. And you don't have to have these scissors. Any scissors will do. Just make sure they're precise enough. So now I'm just going to take my base coat. And you're going to put on a good amount of it because you want it to make sure that these stickers stick to your nail and not just fall off. And I used a fin finger paint space coat. Now I'm using tweezers, but these are unnecessary just to place it. Now I'm patting it with my fingers and squeezing around the edges to make sure everything is touching the nail and getting secured. And do as best as you can. To squeeze it on there and if you have really curved nails don't use too dry of a sticker so now I'm trimming at the tip of my nail to trim that off so it's easier to function now I'm just going to do my thumb and then I'm just going to place it on there once again and just good enough pressure but you don't want to do too much pressure so it slips off because you might get a little bit messy. Now I'm using nail polish remover and a Q-tip just to melt and get rid of the excess nail polish on there. So I'm just going to wrap the tip. So yeah, it melts the nail polish and it like melts it like into your nail so it's like more secure. I don't know what the science behind it is, but it does work. So now I'm just taking my orange stick and scraping around the edge of my nail, and it just comes off like that. It's a little bit messy, but the nail polish remover will get the rest of it. And just making sure all the sides are pushed down, you know. Nice and tight. I'm getting this other side. Get it as clean as you can. So I added my other accent nail colors to go with my nail stickers. Now I'm just going to add a top coat, which is Sesh Vite. And I'm just going to add a good layer of that on. And just to make sure to wrap the tip, because you don't want these to come off. But mine, is ne mine have never popped off. So it's a really good thing. Um, and also I have like weak kind of nails, my nails are very thick, and these help a lot, like normal nail polish chips very easily, but these stay on a long while because it's thick, but it didn't take 12 hours to dry on your nails, it took 12 hours to dry on a piece of paper, so it's kind of a give and take. I just really wanted to share this with you guys because it's a lot of fun and it's pretty easy to get these types of designs without using water marble. So this is the design I did on my other hand. I think it turned out pretty good. And so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!